Hey folks, welcome back to the 3's in Bobo's here. So as I was telling the, the story about creating a uh, yellow yard advance, just before we left in 1978, another thought came to mind. And this is the way these stories are. I'll be telling one and one will pop up. So anyway, uh, if you took off, if we took off on runway 35 center advance, and just proceeded uh, north for about three and a half miles or so. That's very close to where we lived in Enid. So one night we were night flying and my scheduled takeoff was at 9.30. So I called home and I asked uh, wife, I said, hey, listen, can uh, we keep Keith up? Uh, I'm gonna be taking off at nine, actually my scheduled takeoff was 9.28. I said, I'll be flying over the house about 9.30, somewhere in that vicinity. And I kind of like to, to, to have them see me flying, I guess. Um, I don't know, I just enjoyed that. So she said, yeah, that wouldn't be a problem. He, Keith at the time would have been about five or six. So I, we uh, briefed and got strapped in and so forth like that and then met our takeoff time of 9.28 and I told the student, I think I'm going to do the takeoff tonight and this in a particular night. And okay, fine. So we take off and I just left it low as we uh, smoked north out of uh, off the base. And then as we were crossing, I think it was Garrett Highway, a main highway there. I lit both burners and then just kept it low over the house and area. <laughs> and then when I got past the house, pulled it up and made a left turn out to the area. Well, that was pretty cool. When I got home, uh, Sue said, boy, he really enjoyed that. He thought that was really cool. So yeah, good. At any rate, that was kind of, kind of the way that event went until Friday night at the club. I wasn't thinking anything about it. And Katie Schwal came up. Now she was, uh, she's Art Schwal's wife, really a great person. So she comes up and she says, Hey, listen, she says, I have a question for you. And I said, sure, what's that? She said, were you the reverend and frick of frats that flew over my house about 9.30 the other night in full burner? And I said, oh, maybe it could have been. And I said, why? She says, well, I was up in the attic then. And she says, when you came over, that scared the living crap out of me. She says, don't do that again. And I said, okay, I won't. <laughs> but she still, I don't know what night we flew. It was like Tuesday or Wednesday, but she still had a little bit of fire and lightning in her eyes from uh, on Friday night from that event. At any rate, this is Bobo, base gear, stop.